Hello, everyone, and welcome to Channel 781 News. This evening, as we're recording, there's a protest and counter-protest in Newton over a planned event at Newton North High School. The school's GSA is holding an optional event for students tomorrow that will include a performance by drag queen Missy Stake, who also performed at last year's Waltham Pride. Several right-wing groups, including Newton GOP and the national group Parents Defending Education, have launched online attacks against Missy Stake, as well as the school principal and GSA advisor and planned a protest at tonight's Newton City Council meeting. Allies of the queer community and Newton educators have also planned a counter protest supporting the event. Here in Waltham on April 3rd, there was a packed house at the City Council's Rules and Ordinances Committee meeting, mostly housing advocates who showed up to demand action on a tenant notification ordinance. During the early days of the pandemic, state law required landlords to supply tenants in danger of eviction with information about their rights. When that law expired, Waltham's housing advocacy organization, Watch CDC, drafted an ordinance that would make this permanent in Waltham. Councilor Paz introduced a resolution that seemed like a first step toward passing that ordinance, and it was sent to the Rules and Ordinances Committee, which didn't take any action on it for almost a year. Because of the large turnout, the committee agreed to take it off the table. The committee chair, Councillor Harris, said they would take a month to review it before discussing it again and suggested Councillor Paz organize a public input session. However, she also said she doesn't think there is support for it on the committee. We'll talk about that more on our debrief show. There was an unexpected twist this week in the city's process to approve recreational amenities on the former site of the Fernald Institution. The Conservation Commission recently approved part of that plan with conditions, but this week a law firm representing the city's recreation department submitted a complaint to the State Environmental Protection Agency asking them to overrule those conditions on the grounds that they're onerous and irrelevant. Among the other issues, the complaint said the Conservation Commission had no business asking the city not to use anticoagulant rat poison on the site or to place a conservation restriction on the site. Properties purchased with community preservation funds are required by state law to have restrictions managed by a third party to ensure they're used for their intended purpose, but Waltham is out of compliance with nearly all of our CPC purchase properties, including the Fernald. At this week's city council meeting, Mayor McCarthy asked the council to approve conservation restrictions for seven properties, including the farm property at 240 Beaver Street, and the e-docket included a note saying she's working on one for the Fernald. Those requests were sent to the Long-Term Debt Committee, and we'll talk about that more on the debrief show as well. We mentioned in a previous show that there was an opening on Waltham Zoning Board of Appeals, and that has since been filled. At a recent meeting, the Committee of the Whole approved the mayor's nomination of Stephen Taranto as a permanent member of the ZBA. Mr. Taranto is a former Waltham police officer who's now the Director of Public Safety at Boston University and a police trainer. This coming Thursday, April 20th, the Traffic Commission will be meeting at 10 a.m. and they're expected to make a decision about closing Moody Street to cars this summer. The Boston Globe published an article about the Moody Street debate with summaries of the two proposals, so check that out if you haven't already. Monday is Patriots Day, so the next city council meetings will be on Tuesday. We also have some upcoming community events for you. Tomorrow, Friday evening, the Waltham Gender Justice Group will be holding a puzzle night at Craft Food Hall at 5.30 as a fundraiser for the group Tides for Reproductive Justice. On Tuesday the 18th, the Waltham Pride organizers will be having a social at Ritzy East in Watertown. That's a fundraiser for Pride, but you don't have to donate to attend, so check it out if you'd like to connect with the community. April 21st through 30th, Brandeis will be having their Festival of Creative Arts, and that's open to the whole community, not just Brandeis folks. So check out the Brandeis Arts website for more info. Waltham Trans Alliance will have a meetup on Sunday, April 22nd, 12 p.m. at the library. And Waltham Democratic Socialists of America is starting a series of film nights also at the library. And the first one will be on May 7th at 1.45 p.m., a screening of the documentary Motherload about cargo bikes. The next thing we post will be our debris show, so stay tuned. Thank you very much.